<laughs> Guacamole. What? and welcome back to another video today we are going to do something very exciting um we're actually i'm not gonna tell you i'm just gonna take you with us so come along with our day today we're going on a trip to cozumel which is an island just off of mexico i'm so so excited to take you there um me and Reese is gonna be our first time there so we're gonna explore the island and let you know what it has to offer Hola. so we are at the Puerto carmen airport which is actually a really tiny airport um, where you can fly to Cozumel. So there's obviously two ways you can get there, either boat or plane, and we have decided to fly with um, Fly Cozumel today. So I'm so excited. They're actually just um, very kindly gifting us this flight, which is so exciting. Um, and yeah, can't wait to share it with you. absolutely amazing and um, we've just booked a little Airbnb and uh, the hotels were like a lot more pricey than the Airbnb so if you're looking to do this like on a budget highly recommend just looking at the Airbnbs loads of them are um, along the seafront uh, which is exactly where the ferry or your flight if you fly with flight cars your comes in um, and yeah it's super easy we just basically rented a scooter which we picked up from just outside the airport so that was really handy as well if you guys want the name of the actual place we rented off i'll leave it down below in the description box um, and now we're gonna go out for a peanut butter coffee so if you guys know my love for peanut butter is probably as strong as my love for reese uh, it's pretty intense, so I'm so excited. <laughs> it's so nice. I'm so excited to try this peanut butter coffee. I can't even tell you. I hope it's a nice one as well because I'm really hot right now. There is aircon in here. It's another little tip to make sure when you book your Airbnbs, always make sure there's one with aircon, Wi-Fi. I know it sounds super obvious, but aircon is so necessary when we're not used to this heat. Um, and yeah, we're gonna go and explore today. We're gonna go to the eco park and um, yeah, just see what's in store there. So let's, first of all, let's go get a coffee. Hola, so we made it to um, the little the small area by the, um, there's like a little strip here of like coffee shops and little shops and this is where the peanut butter coffee is. So let's go and try some. Your peanut butter coffee. <laughs> <laughs> this is the first. Please tell me how it tastes. Oh wow, do you like that? Yeah. Yeah. Mm. It's frothy. Frothy. Out of ten. That's a solid. Sorry for nine. <laughs> what would make it a ten? More coffee. <laughs> Katie's taste testing. Okay, he loves peanut butter, so this is gonna be. You guys. <laughs> That's genuinely, I need this every day in my life. <laughs> I don't know what she just said, she just mumbled a whole lot of stuff. I need this every day in my life. But... I genuinely need to know how they make this. This is phenomenal. And now we have a 40 minute drive down the coast to a place called some nature wildlife park and it has like crocodiles, it has places to swim, it has places to snorkel and so we're just gonna go for a chill day there. Hopefully the weather holds out, looks like it's going to. So you can enjoy the ride in a sec. Ha <laughs> 
Mallorca. Hola español, inglés. 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 Mayan. Mayan, yeah. <laughs> okay. The price for the admission is at 288 pesos or 16 dollars. All right. Think of the tower in the crocodile area, the Mayan temple, the lighthouse, the museum, and the beach area and the service. And included a tour. The tour is around the most important, like in all Cosmo, okay? Um, it's a boat ride, it's a 25 minute tour, okay? And um, in this place, it's most possible to see the crocodiles, sometimes flamingos, quatimundes, raccoons, or sea turtles. about 40 minutes to get here on a bike which does seem a little while but it's definitely worth it for these views the sea is absolutely crystal clear look at the color of it it looks amazing um also this is the like swampy area where apparently there might be crocodiles which is some flamingos and maybe some sea turtles because it is nesting season um, which i did google yesterday which said between i think it was between august to october so Hopefully we'll see some sea turtles, that'd be absolutely amazing. But we're gonna go into some snorkeling. We're currently just at the top of this lighthouse, which is a little bit of a steep climb up, but it's definitely worth it for this view. Uh -huh. Say that again. Okay. <laughs> you ready? See. Okay guys, welcome familia. My name is Juan Lopez, aka Gaylo. I'm here in Cozumel, Punta Sur. We have Margarita and the Claymore. We are at the Ponta Sonor Eco Park, which is absolutely beautiful. It's just this like long sandy road with so much like wildlife, nature, and just you just feel super. Yeah, there's a crocodile, lizards, geckos. What are they called? Iguanas. Iguanas. Like that's just what we've seen so far. I saw a crab walking like with its shell still on its back. It was pretty cool. Um, so yeah, you guys definitely need to come and check this place out if you pop to Cozumel, which I highly recommend. It's been so far, to be honest, like probably one of the highlights of our trip yeah. um, in Mexico. And we're so, so lucky just to be here right now. It's really quiet. It feels a bit like we've got the place to ourselves. There's not that many people here. Obviously still, it's a bit difficult to travel at the minute, but if you can travel or if there's a will, there's a way. There's one benefit of traveling this time, turn the camera around. <laughs> Literally, not a soul on the beach. It's absolutely just breathtakingly beautiful. Um, so yeah, I highly recommend you guys doing that. We've just stopped in one of the beach clubs. So we've stopped in the Anne Mona de Mar beach club and we're just going to get some lunch. I've just got a little Diet Coke, we've just got a cheeky little beer and yeah, we're just going to have some lunch. Risa's having... Burrito, burrito, beef burrito. Chicken burrito. <laughs> and I ordered a vegan taco so we'll let you guys know how the food is. But for now, we're just gonna soak up the sun and just be really present and just be super grateful for this moment. So our food has arrived. Marie says 
a chicken burrito. That's what I call a burrito. It's banging, and I have the vegan fajitas. Oh they look so good. Good? <laughs> bueno. So we've had a beautiful time here. The sun has just gone a bit overcast now. Um, we decided not to go snorkeling. Just, just, just a bit really tired, to be honest, but I reckon it would have been absolutely beautiful. They're just back there. There's like this bright, bright, bright blue. I don't know if you can see it in the camera or not. There's this bright, bright, bright blue bit wherever they're going snorkeling and it looks absolutely amazing. So I'd highly recommend it. I think it's really reasonable. You can, um, if you actually pay before you come here, you can get lunch and a snorkel for $15. So I think it'd definitely be worth doing that if you are gonna plan on snorkeling. Um, and yeah, definitely need to check out this place though because it's absolutely beautiful. Oh, well. So after a long day in the sun and a long little drive, not gonna lie, it was a bit of a drive, wasn't it? It was a long drive, but my ass is numb. My ass is numb. <laughs> but I do think it was worth it. And we got caught in a downpour on the way back, like literally a monsoon. <laughs> She's soaked. And we are soaked. I don't know how your t-shirt, oh your t-shirt is still soaked. Mine's all right. Um, and we just found this little bakehouse called the Maple Bakery and Coffee. And literally everything looks so good. We're just doing my coconut milk, but it looks great. And um, I feel like it's just what we need just to like pick us up um, before we head back, have a shower, and then go out somewhere for a nice sunset dinner. We also saw some very interesting animals on the way back. So we'll have to find out what they were and let you guys know. So this is the table we just got in this restaurant called Hemingway's. And I want to show you the view. Yeah, how do I turn this on? <laughs> We literally had the most beautiful evening here. We watched the sunset. It was probably one of the nicest sunsets we've seen since we arrived here in Mexico. And I would also just say, if anyone gets bitten by mosquitoes, make sure you put extra mosquito spray on because they definitely got me that night, but it was worth it. Time for some margarita. <laughs> this one is literally the size of my head. Our second day here in beautiful Cozumel. We absolutely are loving it so far. And one thing I do love about our Airbnb is that you get to see a little bit more of like the real, I guess, place where you are. As opposed to when you're like in a hotel, you kind of don't get to see like the real authentic houses and like the country little, like, what are they called? Streets. Street, <laughs> kind of cute little streets um, and stuff like that. But like, look at this little, like, orangey house and they're all like different colours and it's just really pretty and nice to see a little bit more of the authentic side of it rather than like a fancy five star hotel. Um, I also love this one behind us here, I think it's really cool, quite old fashioned, quite chic and quite cute. So this morning we're going to go for our second peanut butter coffee because we really enjoyed it yesterday. Well I really enjoyed it, I don't know how much Reese enjoyed it. I did. You did? Good. Um, and we're going to go and try and find like something for a healthy breakfast because we just fancy something a bit healthy so we're going to try out a place called La Cuisine and yeah we'll see how it is so we found la cuisine it's got these cute little chairs outside and it's a health food shop and cafe so let's go
today we're actually going out on a fun little trip. This is something you can do if you come to Cosmo Miles. So we're partnering up with the Atlantis Submarine, which um, hopefully we'll get to see some of the wonderful nature under the sea. Yeah, and all, all the cool sea life that I'm a little bit too scared to go and see by snorkeling. Um, so this is a really nice way to do it. It's a really cool thing to do. I've never been in a submarine before, so definitely recommend this um, little trip. And we'll take you along with us. Um, our, th our third morning here? Yes. Yeah, our final morning here. Oh, it's gone frosty again. The camera keeps going frosty because we've gone from cold to hot. Um, so just bear that in mind if you are a vlogger. <laughs> um, we're just walking through this little cute, um, like... Road? I can't think what they're called. No, like it's not a village. It's just straight in Cozumel. It's just this, this cute little village of houses. Um, and they're already different, which I think is so nice. Like in the UK, everything looks the same and it's so boring. But these are like painted really lovely colours, like nice orange colours. They've got all like trees outside of them. Look at this bright orange. Whoa! <laughs> there's lots of dogs. Um, and like there's purple walls and there's just like pretty, like the house opposite us has like yellow sunflowers on it. It's just really pretty. So we're just walking down the road just to get a coffee. <laughs> Cafe. The Isla, the Isla. Along the front they have these like lovely sculptures of things um, and this is the front everything is really like along here like up these streets it's really really easy to get around but um, obviously you can use your phone or there is a nice map when you arrive here um, and yeah it's been super easy to get around hasn't it and, like, yeah really easy and our bike costs how much 40 pounds you get insurance when you come to these sort of countries just be safe I literally look hilarious because I've got like everything on the wheel. <laughs> I literally feel like a spy here with my mask and my um, sunglasses on my hat. Hilarious. But there is also like a van and stuff playing today. It's quite cool. Um, the ferry is nine pounds, um, just one way, and I think you can get it probably cheaper like for both ways. Hello guys. So I don't know if you could hear me downstairs because there was so much noise. So I came upstairs and hopefully it's a little bit better. So we are just leaving Cozumel now. We've been here for two days. I would say that's probably enough time that you read on the island. Um, it's a really beautiful island. I would definitely recommend you guys coming over. As you guys saw at the start of this vlog, you can get here by flight, but if you don't want to go by flight, it's a little bit too bougie for you, even though I highly recommend it. Um, the other thing you can do is come by boat, which is what we're doing now. So it costs us nine pound each um, to get the boat back, but you can get like a one way, like a, a round trip ticket, which I think is a little bit cheaper probably. You save a bit of money. Um, so if that's kind of more your thing and you want to go by boat, then definitely um, yeah, you can get this. It's called the Ultramar. I will leave the link down below for you guys. So it's super easy to find. 
and um, everything we've done here has just been amazing and incredible i'm a little bit tired today my sleep hasn't been great and there was a thunderstorm last night which is kind of noisy but um yeah we've had a great time and i definitely would recommend you guys coming to cozumel um, it's definitely a beautiful island and definitely yeah worth the trip it's, it's so beautiful we've even talked about coming back so yeah so for now let's go get on the ferry and uh, we'll see you guys back in Playa del Carmen. Make sure you check out our Playa del Carmen vlog as well, um, just to check out the best things to do in Playa del Carmen. And if you're not subscribed, make sure to hit that subscribe because we're going to be traveling around Mexico over the next few weeks. So a lot more exciting Mexico content, especially if it's somewhere that you're thinking of heading. We highly recommend it. It wasn't on our um, like to travel list ever, but I feel like everything happens for a reason. So definitely here for a reason. So. Out. I feel like someone's gonna come shout at me which is not why I'm like this. <laughs> So we had a little bit of time before the ferry, so we went and just walked along the seafront and took in these beautiful views. They had, they had lots of cool statues, and the one that when you right, firstly arrive is some swallows, which is what Cozumel actually means, the island of swallows. Then we headed onto the Ultramar ferry to get our boat ride home. We said goodbye to Cozumel, but we knew we would be back because we absolutely loved it. Bye Cozumel. Favorite part of Mexico so far? Cozumel. If you're coming over to Cancun, Tulum, play away, you have to go to Cozumel. Thanks so much for being here guys. I hope you've enjoyed watching today's Cozumel vlog. If you did enjoy, please make sure to hit that thumbs up button as it helps tell YouTube that you love our content and helps more people to find our channel. Um, and make sure, like I said earlier, you are subscribed with the alarm bell button on to make sure you don't miss out on any more of our Mexico content and our upcoming travel videos. I hope you have a wonderful day. Make sure you're following us over on Instagram as well. Find the link down in the description box, but it's at Katie Victoria Helen, and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye for now.